know something I find so funny? Now, <laughs> first off, the title of the video, uh, I don't even know why I'm naming, bro. I like why well, I think it's like why it's hard growing up black in America, something like that. I don't know, bro. It's something along them lines, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you exact reasons why it is hard growing up in America being black. Okay, now I'm gonna go right into the video. Number one. It's hard growing up in America being black. It's because black people want to have a victim mindset. They want to play victim. So obviously, when you start to play victim, you know what I'm saying, and you start to make yourself the victim in every situation, obviously, guess what? You're making it harder for yourself to get out there and to explore what America truly has to offer towards any race. You feel me? Another reason is we keep looking at the flesh. We keep looking at what's right here. This, this don't matter this the color of this don't matter you know what i'm saying it's what's in the inside of you what's in the inside of you shows through your character and that's in your spirit but y'all fail to realize that you know y'all fail to realize that i'm tired of people saying oh uh well society in general just oh well black people been through this black people been through that like i understand what black people been through and i'm not taking that away from black people i understand what they've been through i know the history behind slavery segregation i know the history behind all that okay it's not like i'm just blind blindly through this it's just i know that that's not happening today i know that in america that's not happening today so that's why i go out into this world and i preach the word of god but not only i preach the word of god but i also try to change young black people mindsets because it's all within the mindset you change your mindset, you can be anything you want to be in life. You know what I'm saying? So stop saying that it's hard to grow up in America being black. Because if you want to be real, it's hard growing up in America being any color race. Okay, it don't it seriously, it's hard. We're all human. You know what I'm saying? We're growing up in America. Gas is over expensive. Food is hot as I don't know what. Okay, first five guys. Okay, I don't know if y'all know the restaurant. Five, they burgers is almost rent money. It's bro, it's just ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. But this is the world we live in. This is the world we live in. So don't keep telling yourself, okay, anybody. This goes from white. This goes for whatever race. I don't care. Anybody, stop telling yourself that it's hard growing up because of the color of your skin. It's not the color of your skin. It's just society that we live in. It's the government. It's the president. That's that's why it's hard growing up in America, okay? That, simply, we keep voting in Democrats. We don't care. We don't care who cares for America because half of the people voting don't even care for America themselves. So they just voting just to get the vote in. They not even doing the research behind the person they voting for. That's why Biden is the president now. <laughs> it's, seriously. But you know, it. I just realized that a lot of people, they, a lot of people in America, they, they think this way, they do things like this because they do what sounds good. They go with what sounds good. But the truth not always go sound good. It's like coming to God. Yes, that's the truth. That's what we all should do. But at the end of the day, it don't make sense. It, it don't it don't make sense. Why should we follow God? Why should we do this? But when you do deeper research behind everything and you will see why we need God in our life. I seen that myself. I seen why I need a Lord in my life. Not just a savior, but a Lord in my life. You know what I'm saying? It all works out. But a lot of people have their different beliefs. But I don't push that on nobody. I'm just tired of people telling themselves, oh, it's hard growing up black. It, it's hard growing up this. It's hard. No, it's not hard. You know what I'm saying? Life is what you make it. Life is simply what you make it. If you make your life hard, it's going to be hard. If you make it easy, it's going to be easy. Stop giving yourself excuses. Y'all better than that. Stop giving yourself excuses. Okay, just stop. Stop having a victimization mindset. Quit with the victim. Quit with the victim mentality. Let that stuff go because what happened back then cannot dictate your future now. Y'all got to look what's ahead of you, not what's behind you. If I kept looking what's behind me, I wouldn't be in a predicament I'm in now. Not trying to boast, not trying to brag, but I wouldn't have a, a high credit score at 19 if I kept looking behind me. I wouldn't be able to manage three businesses if I kept looking behind me. I wouldn't be able to be black in America and got my second career before I turned 20 if I kept looking what's behind me. Those are all some accomplishments. I wouldn't be able to propose to my woman and then get married to her. If I kept looking behind me, we have to stop looking behind us and look what's ahead of us. You know what I'm saying? I'm young doing this. Why? Because I'm keeping my eyes forward, not back. If I keep looking at what 
every what well, and then this is another thing we can't look at what one racist individual done did to a black person and put that one racist individual on the whole entire society of people and say oh yeah everybody's racist towards black no that's not everybody that's just that individual okay because if they put what one black person did to a person and they put that on the whole group black people say that all black people steal all black people kill i'm gonna feel offended like god dang i don't do that you know what I'm saying? So imagine how the rest of the people feel when we put one individual on their actions. Then I got a then I watched a video yesterday talking about, oh, we uh oh white people need to take responsibility for another man's act. No, they do not. No, they do not. Nobody should apologize for what somebody else did, and nobody should never take responsibility for another person's action. Nobody should never apologize for the color of their skin. I didn't ask to be this color. But my lord and savior created me the way he created me for a reason it's some it's some it's some power behind who i am as a person not my color of my skin the color of my skin don't matter because that right there is going to go away when you peel off this when you when you take off this color you know what's behind all of this red that's in everybody that that's in everybody we all bleed red that's what's behind all this this is skeleton and all and it's not black it's not a black skeleton okay it's not it's not a it's not a you know what i'm saying it's not a whatever it's not a black skeleton whatever you know you know what i'm trying to freaking say okay <laughs> but when you take off this look it's it's not it's not no color behind this man you know what i'm saying it's only one race and that's the human race and when we all go figure that out i just want all of us to be united bro stop voting in people who don't care for america stop voting in people who only care for the money you know what I'm saying? I understand that Donald Trump had his ways. I get it. I understand that maybe some things that he said could have been said differently. But at the end of the day, you got to realize what that man was doing for everybody. Not just black people, but for everybody. You got to realize that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all only voted in the one black president. Well, half black. Y'all only voted in him simply because he was black. Y'all didn't even care what he had to offer for America. Y'all didn't care about none of that. Y'all just did it because he was black. And that shows... How some of y'all in this society think. And that's why America is the way it is now. It's because we so clueless. We so clueless to see what's the real and what's the fake. You got people out here like Kanye who's speaking the truth. People out here like Kyrie who's getting canceled just for reposting a freaking documentary. You got people out here like Candace Owens who is exposing BLM. Not saying that black lives don't matter. But we're saying the organization was a fraud. That's what we're saying every life matter every human life matter we all created an image of god but when you put that race and say that one race life matter and you cancel out blue lives you cancel out white lives you cancel out hispanic life you cancel out every other life and you only say yo one life matter that's when you become so selfish and so just so bitter bro because how can you even say one person or how can you even say one skin color life matter but not say the other skin colors lives matter Growing up in America, black, it ain't hard. It ain't. It ain't hard at all. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, your life is your life. You, Your life is what you make it. Your life is what you make it. You know what I'm saying? If you make bad decisions throughout your life, you're going to suffer the consequence for no bad decisions. God don't make mistakes. And he punished us sinners. He punished the sinners. The sinners who want to keep sinning and not give their life to God and don't repent, he punished them sinners. That's why so many people out here, you say, dang, why they die so young? Why they die? Think about everything they was doing. They was doing so much. They did so much from when they was freaking seven years old all the way until they was 35. It was time, baby. It was time. They had to, they had to suffer the consequences from all them years. They had time after time after time to repent, but did they? No. That's why the young, that's why the, uh, the young die young. Whatever the saying is, y'all know what I'm trying to say. That's why, because there's a lot of young people who done made so many mistakes and they never once want to give their life to Christ. I'm not saying that's every situation, but if you think about it, that's a lot of people, and that's why a lot of people die young all the rappers look at them bro it's a spirit behind this rap industry it's a, it's a bad spirit bro y'all gotta wake up man i love each and every one of y'all man i just want y'all to truly wake up to the truth i'm tired of this victim i'm tired of the playing the victim role i'm tired of all that bro let 
the let the past go okay i'm not saying don't i'm not saying forget about slavery no i'm not saying that. i'm not saying forget about segregation i'm not saying forget about the things that happened history is important we shouldn't forget about history because if i say forget about history i'm saying forget about the uh the uh the life of jesus christ you know what i'm saying because that's also his some history too history is important so i'm not saying forget about it but it's time that we relax and we have to realize what america is today it's way better than what it was back then. It's way better now. You know what I'm saying? You have so many opportunities. That's why so many people from different countries come over here because they got so much opportunity here. But I love y'all, man. I don't want to let this video be drawn out. I just want y'all to realize that growing up black in America is not hard, okay? It's not hard. And I just want the black community to be saved. If the black community don't get saved, bro, I mean, right now they're down. They're down right now. They're, they're literally down but it's okay because as long as we put god first america will be saved in general i'm not just saying the black community i don't want to just say the black community but i want to say everybody every community every community needs to be saved the whole american whole america just needs to be saved i love y'all man y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below uh this has been your boy the pan god bless stay blessed peace